preparation for the all new Sienna started three years ago, really working with engineering and designing to review drawings. And that's really where the process starts. Our pilot teams, they're really experts that we pull from our production workforce to support preparation, design of the new processes, the training of our team members, and really the overall preparation of the plan to be able to start building the new Sienna. The pilot team takes the new models from design to production. We help design and set up processes for the new models that are coming in. Planning for the new Sienna started years before the first one rolled off the assembly line. It was design reviews, quality reviews. It was trial build after trial build, building the body just to tear the body apart and confirm that everything was as it should be. The plant went through massive changes really to introduce the all new Sienna, bringing new equipment in, modifying our existing equipment, adjusting our production processes. There was a lot of new technologies that had to be introduced. The designers have put in some really high strength metal into vehicles now that we've never seen before. So we've got a multitude of bonding technologies. We have a sealer bond that is a strength adhesive. And then we've got new technology of laser welding to make the new Sienna very rigid and, and strong for the customer. We actually confirm the weld quality with an ultrasound machine. It allows us to look at the inside of the weld and they can judge from that picture if it's a good quality weld. The level of innovation that's in this project is uh, nothing short of incredible in my opinion. For our, our reliability initiative, we really focus on increasing the amount of vehicles we can make in our given shift by reducing unforeseen downtime events. So we do that with a lot of proactive work to identify issues before they happen. On the engineering side, we're running different simulations to ensure the design is going to be structurally sound and improving on all previous designs we've done and incorporating that into this Sienna. A lot of these teams have been working on this project for years, but once all that goes in place and we actually start building vehicles on the line, that's where the excitement builds, right? They see the fruits of their labor, they see the, the actual vehicle being built from start to finish. Knowing that you've taken it from the beginning stages to the end stages and to see the final result and knowing that you put your heart and soul into it and you know it's good quality, you know that the finished product is amazing and, and just to hear the feedback from people, your hard work and your long hours paid off because you put out the best product that you could. Our quality is of utmost importance. Every step of the way, every vehicle launch, we have continued to become better each time because we have the history of improving one thing at a time and we carry that on to the next project. The all new Sienna is so versatile. Not only the, the aggressive, bold, exciting styling, but it's got all the conveniences that you expect in a minivan. The, the cargo space, the interior comfort, not to mention the, the all new hybrid drivetrain. And you know, if I had one right now and, and I could go anywhere, I'd probably load my wife and my three kids and all our stuff and, and head down to the lake. It's gonna have a tremendous ride and comfort to it. And with the hybrid drivetrain, less stops at the gas station on the way. I would like to go out west and see our own country, take a long drive with my husband, uh, go up the California coast to Seattle, which I've never been, and the ride that I know the Sienna has, the quietness of the ride, that it's so comfortable. It would be an awesome vacation. I'd go to Florida and I would take my family because Florida is our favorite spot. We love having all the extra room and it would be fun. Throughout the years, Toyota has shown their support and their faith in Gibson County. They've provided internships for students. They've given donations to schools. They're trying to help build up the community. Toyota has been in Southern Indiana for 25 years now. We are definitely here to stay, and we have invested so much in this area. It has given the opportunity for so many people in this area to have a great career and a great livelihood for their families. Our teams are immensely talented. They've got a tremendous amount of skill and experience. That interaction with the team members we have here is what I love. It's what brings me to work every day and drives me to, to do my job and do it better. I think Gibson County has needed a Y for as long as I can remember. You know, being a little kid and growing up in Princeton, we didn't have all the opportunities that maybe some big cities had. 
A YMCA has impact that goes above and beyond family, it goes above and beyond school, and it sets those roots in place. YMCAs, from my experience, have become community centers for a neighborhood. It brings people together, it narrows the gap, and it creates a sense of community. So this is gonna be a Y for all. It's unique for us to be able to build a Y in a smaller community. An investment of this sort is going to have a, a deep impact. To build a YMCA, you have to have uh, community support, you have to have government support, you have to have private entity support, you know, sometimes on the corporate level. Toyota is our big brother to the south of the city of Princeton. When they decided to be part of this project, it gave it some legitimacy. Toyota obviously doesn't make decisions that, that fail. So come in and say, listen, we're behind this. We believe this is going to work. Well, goodness gracious, it's going to work. When Mayor Wright uh, came to the plant and met with the team here, you know, I was excited. Um, I saw it as an opportunity for Toyota to make a, a big impact. You know, the Y is kind of that central piece of a community that I think kind of ties it all together. The YMCA Gibson County will be located in downtown Princeton. We'll be taking over a, a school building that North Gibson School Corporation has been generous enough to gift to the YMCA. This will be a place to come and convene and play basketball and, you know, shoot a game of pool. Just be kids, just talk about what happened at school that day. There's a STEM lab. Uh, we have a youth activity center. The cafeteria is now going to be a teaching kitchen. We really want Gibson County, uh, the entire county, to feel like it's their YMCA. Over the last 25 years, Gibson County's been a great partner for Toyota. We've always answered the call when you know something has been needed in the community. Hopefully this Y can be really something that is going to be there long term. Our success here in uh, Gibson County, it is a, a collaborative effort. We've been trying to build this project out for, for many years. Without Toyota, we would not be able to cross the finish line. Toyota's made a statement by making an investment in a small community. I think our community has evolved over the years and changed in every aspect from the way people live, from the way people play. You know, our goal is to try to make ourselves better from day to day, and we are creating something that will last way beyond us, and that makes you feel good. That makes you feel like you've made a difference. Mm -hmm.